Yeah, torture is one of the most serious violations of human rights. It means the deliberate infliction of severe pain or suffering uh, on a powerless person for a certain purpose, which is usually the extraction of information or a confession. Human trafficking is very similar to torture. It is also the infliction of severe pain or suffering by means of threats and coercion on a powerless person for a specific purpose that is usually the exploitation of the victim for sexual services, prostitution, domestic labor, etc. In my former function as United Nations Special Rapporteur on Torture, I therefore also targeted trafficking in human beings as one of the forms of torture if the state has not taken enough action to prevent and combat human trafficking. For instance, I went together with the UN Special Rapporteur on Violence Against Women, Jakin Ertürk, on a fact-finding mission to Moldova, where we targeted also uh, victims of trafficking and the crime of trafficking. In international law, trafficking has been primarily um, seen from a criminal law perspective in the Palermo Protocol of the United Nations or the Council of Europe Convention in relation to trafficking and the human rights perspective have not been taken into account sufficiently. That's why in this study, which uh, Julia Planitzer and myself did for the OSCE, we tried to make the international law against torture also applicable in order to combat trafficking. For instance, one possibility and one very strong rule of international law is that you should never send a person back to a country where he or she might face torture. And the same applies also if a victim of trafficking would be sent back to a country where she has been trafficked from and where there is a serious risk that she would again become a victim of human trafficking. Uh, another important consequence of applying the law of torture would be that all victims of torture, and that means also victims of human trafficking, have a right to reparation for the harm they have suffered. And in most cases of human trafficking, the victims never receive any form of compensation or other forms of reparation. On the contrary, unfortunately, the laws competing illegal immigration are much more powerful than the criminal law approach vis-a-vis -vis victims of trafficking. And that means that very often victims of trafficking are sent back to their countries because they are considered as illegal immigrants and not as victims of a major human rights violation. In this sense, we hope that the present study might also influence states within the OSCE region to take victims of human trafficking more serious as victims of one of the most serious human rights violations in the world.